It's the playoff time. If you have made the fantasy playoffs, you know there are a ton of injuries and there are a ton of intrigue about some of these quarterbacks and wide receivers and running backs and who should I start. Fortunately, we have the perfect resource for you. Her name is Kay Adams. We ask you guys to tweet us, and we do a thing called Fantasy Faceoff every single Wednesday where Kay will help solve your dilemma. Let's start with the first one, Kay. Air Knight, who is a frequent tweeter of the show. Yes. Air Knight writes, Jared Goff on Sunday night in the cold weather against the Bears mm -hmm. or Matt Ryan who has been struggling against an even worse struggling Packers defense. Shregs, there were like 10 people asking the same question. People are dealing with this because Jared Goff on the road, not great. Matt Ryan lately has struggled. I will play Matt Ryan and it's mm. because I don't trust Goff in Chicago. If you look at his splits, we put him up so you could just see the numbers here. 18 touchdowns to two interceptions at home, nine touchdowns, five interceptions on the road. It's a thing. So Matt Ryan, granted, he struggled, but those were games against the Ravens. Those were games against the Cowboys, two of the toughest defenses on quarterback. So Jared Goff, I mean, the Ram, the Bears defense has more interceptions and touchdown passes allowed. It's an awesome stat. That's a crazy Bear down. Stat. So given that and those splits with Jared Goff, I think even though Matt Ryan Ooh. has let lots of fantasy owners down, uh, great, you got to roll with him up against Green Bay. That's a tough one. Is this tough? You're going to bench Goff? It's, it's scary it's really bold. You really would do that? Honestly, okay, if you would choose Matt Ryan over Jared Goff right now. I would. I'd go Matt Ryan against I like I have Goff like going it. big. You have the Bears winning, right? I do. I have golf going big. We should have a do? friendly bet. This is tough because you're going to live with the Start decisions the next six months. You know, you, like you, you get knocked out of the playoffs. Yeah. You wait until next August. That rule is always start your studs. So even if it gets the Bears, I think I would go with golf because I couldn't live with myself. I, I, I always. I mean, Cousins lit up the Green Bay Packers for 342 yards and three touchdowns. I think Matt Ryan can maybe. Who brought you to the more. dance, though? <laughs> oh. Well, really, Matt Ryan Bears. did to start the season. I don't know. I don't All right, know why speaking you guys of dancing. Both of these guys. Shimmy, my man, Shimmy 71. Oh, dancing. Shimmy. Shimmy 71. Yeah, Shimmy. Shimmy. He wants to know Sony Michelle against the Dolphins. Things get real weird down there in Miami sometimes for New England. Or uh, newly promoted Spencer Ware, who's going up against the stout Ravens D. Adam. Okay, so Str Sony kind of struggled last week, but he still had 70 yards. And the first time that he faced the Dolphins, and they are taking on Miami, he went off for over 100 yards with a touchdown. So I'm going to give it back to Sony, who hopefully is a little bit healthier. There, I mean, like seven guys touched the ball. We talked about it. A lot of guys on this Patriots squad running. But to me, Spencer Ware had 52 yards and a touchdown on 15 touches against the Raiders last week. He's facing who? The Ravens. I don't want anything to do with yeah. that defense. To me, it comes down to matchups. They have by far, by far, have allowed the fewest points in the fantasy game to running back. So given that matchup, I cannot play Ware. All right. I love it. All right, I got one for you. That's a tough one, and I'm, it's, I, I, I feel you on that one. All right, next I have Cody. Cody asks, Stefan Diggs on Monday night against the Seahawks or Amari Cooper against the Eagles. This is a tough one. Less than 50 yards against the Patriots. He's also dealing with a bit of a knee injury, Stephon Diggs is. So at Seattle, not the best matchup. It's not right. the worst matchup either. I'm going to go with Amari Cooper here, who really has been a bright spot in the yeah. offense in the league. And for Dak Prescott, he has three touchdowns in his last five games, oh. averaging 85 yards. Uh, as a cowboy every game that he's been there so he's only getting hotter and hotter and he had six for 75 in the first matchup against Philly and their secondary by the way sixth most generous to opposing wide receivers so for mm. me this one's easily Amari Cooper I, I like that I'm not mad at you Amari Cooper has been balling yeah You're one of the anchors of that offense he's looks good can I give you guys one yeah fantasy face off what do we got Wayne's World celebrating mm. its 25th anniversary this weekend as a movie not on SNL so I simply ask you Wayne versus Garth <laughs> Garth Algar. Garth Algar. <laughs> With these tandems, I tend to go to the second guy. Like, I like Bill more than Ted. Yeah. I like Beavis more I than I like Butthead. Pippen more than Jordan. I hear you, Nate. Um, and I'm, I'm going to go Garth. Garth, to me, always makes me laugh. He's incredible in his relationships with women. Uh, he goes right up just with, I love you, dream woman. I love you, Goth. He gets Kim Basinger in the second one. Mm. He drummed with U2 when they were the biggest band in the world in character. And his lines just cracked me up. If Benjamin was an ice cream flavor, he'd be pralines. And I can't say it. Yeah. But I'm going to go Garth. I'm going to go with Garth, too. My favorite sketch was Great not in the movie, but it was actually in the show on SNL. And he's dead. Garth, Wayne dares Madonna to make out with Garth. Justify my love. Right after the Truth or Dare movie came out and Justify my love. <laughs> it got that. And it's just Garth Algar making out with Madonna. Great TV. I'm yeah. in. Yeah. I'm going Garth as well. <laughs> Listen, also great stand-up.
In real life. Oh, Dana Carvey. Oh, Dana. I, I was. I cut my teeth on Dana. But you're a Mike Myers guy. You saw him at the Bohemian Rhapsody. Love Myers. He's the genius out. behind it. Character Peter, was. I'm. I'm pretty sure it was Wayne making out with Madonna. I think it was Garth. I think it was Wayne. I think Garth <laughs> makes out with Madonna. Stay I know tuned. for a fact it was Wayne. Peter, I'm sorry, but I love. I it. see it as Algar. <laughs> Are you sure it's Wayne? I, I think, think Wayne we'll dares that. Madonna to make out with Garth. I think Wayne dares Madonna to make out with him. Hey, Hammer! <laughs> Hammer, research! Yeah, yeah, I it's got you, buddy. I got you. It was, it was Campbell. Selfish, Wayne! Yes. If Throw a bone to Garth. Wayne, but Garth for the win right, in fantasy. First, make it out with Basinger. All right, I choose Myers. I'm going with Wayne.